Now, we've dragged Debbie back off the road to tell us about her latest travel adventure. Morning, Debbie. Good morning. I'm really excited about this one. Now, it literally brought tears to my eyes. I'm not kidding about wow. that. Bay of Islands is just a three-hour drive from Auckland, so there's so much to do both on and off the water. Take a look. We start the day with breakfast at Paihia's Scenic Hotel. A great spread, but don't eat too much. We're heading out to sea. A half-day cruise with Fuller's great sights. And within minutes, we're joined by the local wildlife. But don't think you have to wait until summer. Bottlenose and common dolphins, as well as orca and bride's whales, are commonly seen right throughout June and July. This stunning boat trip takes us past the islands that give this region its name, including Motuarohia, where Captain Cook anchored the endeavour. We sail past the Cape Brett Lighthouse to the famous Hole in the Rock. It was formed with tectonic plates moving around underneath the surface of the earth. This forced the island to the surface. And after all those years of wind, rain and erosion, it's carved a hole with a dimension of 16 metres across, 20 metres airspace above, and it runs through the island for about 85 metres. Normally, this tour goes through the hole. Today, it's a bit too rough. The return trip takes us to Urupukapuka Island's Otihei Bay, feed the snapper off the back of the boat, then on to dry land. That quintessential view from the top of the hill totally worth the short climb. A lot of Kiwis have been right around the world, but they haven't actually visited this part of the country, which is quite an amazing place. So when they do arrive here and they finally have the experience with us, they usually walk away with um, quite an impression. You won't walk far from the boat for lunch, stay on, or rather over the water at Charlotte's Kitchen. The roof louvers can be opened on sunny days, and we highly recommend the true Napoli-style wood-fired pizza. Then over to Russell. It was the first European settlement in New Zealand and once known as the hellhole of the Pacific. Now it's an absolute gem and just a 10-minute ferry ride from Paihia. It's an easy walk along the stunning waterfront to Pompelia Mission, New Zealand's only surviving pioneer printer and tannery. This is your chance to get hands-on, just as the French missionaries did more than 150 years ago. Tanning the hides and softening the leather takes a bit of elbow grease. Then typesetting, printing, and binding the Bibles that were translated into Māori. It's a complex process in a unique building that still has no electricity and is well worth the guided tour. All that work will give you an appetite. The Duke of Marlborough began its life in 1827 and has New Zealand's first liquor licence still proudly displayed. The dining room may be ornate, but the focus is on fun dining rather than fine dining. The perfect end to your day. That just looks like the most incredible trip. And the dolphins, the dolphin looked amazing, Debbie. Yeah, spectacular. It really does have everything. It's got the scenery, it's got the wildlife, it's got the history. Bay of Islands, you've got to go check it out. The dolphins are quite extraordinary, aren't they? We, um, I've done Bay Week regatta in the Bay of Islands before, and at the start of the race, the yacht race, we were trying to start the boat, and we couldn't steer it properly, we couldn't figure out why on this yacht. We couldn't move the helm over, and it's because the dolphins had nudged up against the rudder, wow. and they were scratching their backs. And so we, oh. couldn't, we couldn't move over, it was wow. incredible. But so many beautiful dolphins, so incredible. Did they hang around for very long? They chased us out, sort of out into the, until we got into the more open water, and we saw them chasing other boats as well. So it was really spectacular. And did you really get tears in your eyes? I, I had tears running down my the face. I'm not are kidding. So beautiful. It was the first time I'd seen dolphins in the wild behaving like that. So I, 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 it really moved me, I have to admit. I really recommend. Yeah. Oh, Debbie, it's been a pleasure as always, and we're very jealous of your trips away. <laughs> they look amazing. We all want to do them. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next Wednesday for more travel tips. Thanks.